Hi everybody, this is Jill. Thank you for coming into my kitchen. I am making a chicken salad today with soy curls. And I don't know how many of you are familiar with them, but this is what the bag looks like. This happens to be an Oregon company. And this is a product that is made out of 100% soybeans, GMO, non-GMO uh, soybeans. And uh, it's a great product. My gosh, it's just super. I'll, I'll show this to you. This is what they look like. Uh, when they're in the package they are dry just like a dried up piece of french fry see it's just dry okay so what you do though is you take them and you soak them for about five minutes in some very hot I use it, boiling water actually and after that you get this wonderful pliable soft chewy textured product that you can shred if you like to shred or chop. Isn't that great? Isn't that just great? So that's what we're going to use today. And you can buy these uh, online. You can buy them through Butler. That's the name of the company. Uh, that's probably the best way. I've heard that if you try to buy them through Amazon, uh, they may not be the best uh, source at that point, but you can buy them online at uh, Butler Foods or you can find them a lot of times now in most major grocery stores. Anyway, let's get started on this now, recipe. I have a bowl. I started out with one cup of dried soy curls and I soaked them, as I said, in almost boiling water. I let them sit for about five minutes and then drain them. And then I actually took them and squeezed them out with my hand to get all that extra moisture out of there. So now what we have, and I chopped them, and I took them, and I just chopped them into small, small little, um, you know, little bites uh, that you'd have in a chicken salad. Now, if you'd rather have your chicken salad kind of in the, you're like shredded, like what you do with tuna fish, I would suggest put it in your food processor and just kind of pulse it right until you get that uh, shredded texture. So what I'm going to first add in here is a little bit of a faux chicken stock. My good friend um, Elizabeth sent this to me. Recipe sent this to me and it's nutritional yeast and all kinds of other different kinds of seasonings and it just kind of gives everything just kind of a, a nice start. If you had some uh, bouillon, chicken flavored bouillon, you could soak your, um, your soy curls in that. I didn't have any of that so that's why I'm using the dried and I'm putting in some celery you know this is really your basic chicken salad whatever you have always liked to put in your chicken salad that would be the thing to do I've got some pickle relish and I'm gonna give it just a good good scoop of that and I have some dehydrated onion here now if you like uh, regular you know whole fresh onion you can use that I just uh, actually the director kind of likes a more simple onion in a salad like this so that's why I use that. I have some dehydrated parsley flakes and again if you had fresh parsley I didn't so that's what I'm using the dehydrated for today and I'm going to put in a little squeeze of Dijon mustard probably oh two teaspoons of that and a little pepper and I will hold off on the salt because that seasoning, the chicken-like seasoning, does have quite a bit of salt in it. So I will use uh, the end to you know, check that seasoning to make sure I have enough salt. If not, I can always add some more. And now what I'm adding here, and I always try to add this prior to mayonnaise as an addition to mayonnaise because mayonnaise is pretty high in calories. This is a I'll call it a dressing that I make with uh, soft uh, tofu and some cashews and uh, vinegar. It's, it's like a cashew cream, but with the soy in there, it makes it a little lighter than just a straight, you know, straight cashews. So that is going in there. Now I can feel like I can put a little bit of real, uh, you know, it's actually this is your follow your heart mayonnaise. So what I'm going to put in here. Well, probably not quite as much as that quarter cup of the uh, that dressing I just showed it to you. So now I'm going to take my spoon here and I'm going to stir this. And again, you know, you know how you like uh, salads like this. You like them with lots of mayonnaise or not too much mayonnaise. 
Mm, I can smell that chicken uh, seasoning in there. The no, no chicken seasoning, it smells wonderful. Now I'm looking at this and I'm saying, I think for us, we like it just a little bit uh, wetter, you know, so it holds together just a little bit, but not, not too much, really. I'm just gonna put just a, maybe a tablespoon more in there. Actually, that probably wasn't even a tablespoon or worth it, right? All right, that's looking very, that look tasty. Now you could put some paprika in there if you liked. To make it colorful, you could put some bell pepper in there to color it up more. Uh, if you wanted to go more on a savory, instead of the pickle relish, you could put capers in here, sun-dried tomatoes. So doesn't that look wonderful? Now I'm gonna put all of this in a container and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator and I'm gonna let it sit there for a couple of hours so you know all those flavors, the pickles and the mustard and all of it has a chance to kind of get together and sing a happy tune. And then uh, once I've had an opportunity to get it good and cold, we'll come back, we'll taste for that salt to see if it needs any more and then we will take a sample. So we'll be back. This is his favorite time. It is good, here you go. Okay. Now I put these on like a, uh, what kind of cracker is this? Kind of like a, a wheat thin. Just because it's small and won't fall apart on us, you know. Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's chicken salad. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Mm. Great chew. Mm-hmm. Wonderful texture, wonderful flavor. Mm-hmm. I like that. Here. I have another. Thank you. And I didn't add any additional salt mm. like I thought I might have to. It's salty enough, sweet enough, everything. You mm -hmm. know, I've done this once before with the curry. Remember I did mm -hmm. a curry? Dynamite. Dynamite. Curry chicken. Go ahead. Again? Mm. Oh, boy. <laughs> Pardon me making a pig of myself. All right. Well, mm. there you go. Soy That's curls. chicken salad. It is chicken salad. Absolutely. You know what's so neat? I've made uh, teriyaki chicken, you know, made a teriyaki sauce and kind of pan fried it and then served it with rice. Delicious that way. The curry chicken. I've done, well, that's right, I've done quite a number of things with the soy curls. Mm -hmm. And it's always really, yeah. really good. Yep, yeah. excellent. Well, all right. I hope that you'll check out Soy Curls. Go to Butler Foods. I don't get anything for it. I'm just telling you, go to Butler Foods if you'd like to try this Butler's uh, Soy Curls. Uh, you can find it pretty much at most uh, major grocery stores now. I hope you try the recipe, though. It's really good. And I'll put the, well, I'll post the recipe down below in the comments section as close as I can get it. And I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. If you think you might want to subscribe, well, go ahead and do it. Check out my Amazon store. You get to watch me eat. And, yeah, yeah. you get to watch the old guy here eat. Take care, everybody. Thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.